President Biden is blaming congressional Republicans for the record number of migrants crossing the border last month. His remarks come as the U.S. is reopening ports of entry in Texas, Arizona, and California, and migrants are being transported to cities across the country. ABC's Jay O'Brien joins me now for more on this. Jay, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas met with negotiators on Capitol Hill yesterday. And the whole goal here is to try to hash out a deal on border policy. So what's the latest on those talks? And I just want to translate a little bit of what the president was saying about they ought to give me the money I need to protect the border. He's saying that because the president put together, remember, this big $100 billion plus foreign aid package that includes aid for Ukraine, aid for Israel, and also money for border security that was meant to get Republican support. And Republicans said they also wanted, including in that package, immigration reform, reforms to the U.S. immigration policy. And so that's what these talks are trying to hammer out right now. As to exactly what the product of these talks is so far, Diane, we, more, we know more of what we don't know than what we know. We know that they met these negotiators, Senate Republicans and Democrats and administration officials like the Secretary of Homeland Security. They met virtually over the last few weeks, over the holiday, and then again they met in person beginning this week again. And Secretary Mayorkas again was on Capitol Hill as part of those negotiations. But exactly what is being hammered out, we don't know. There hasn't been anything on paper that's been released from those negotiations yet. We've heard from senators who say they are going to brief their colleagues when Congress returns next week, but we don't exactly know what's been on the table, what's been taken off the table, and if they're going to come together on any kind of legislation that Congress can vote on and free up that money again for Israel, Ukraine, and for border security. Now, today, House Speaker Mike Johnson and 60 other Republican lawmakers are also set to visit the border in Texas. What can we expect from their visit? And it's interesting because you've got the split screen playing out, right? You've got Republicans traveling to the border where they are no doubt going to hammer the president on the administration's border policy because that's something that congressional Republicans have been doing really since they took control of the House of Representatives last year. They've been conducting investigations and things of that nature into the administration's border policies. And then on the flip side, in the other chamber of Congress, you have these negotiations playing out in a bipartisan way where Republicans and Democrats are trying to figure out out what, if anything, they can agree on on immigration policy changes to put into that larger foreign aid package that I was just discussing. So you can expect the speaker to be critical of the president, to talk about the ongoing crisis at the southern border and what congressional Republicans have done, which is pass legislation, held committee hearings, none of which has gone very far because it's been partisan legislation and partisan committee hearings that have obviously not been taken up by a Democrat-controlled Senate. Uh, meanwhile, Jay, the House of Homeland Security Committee is now formally moving forward with its impeachment proceedings against Secretary Mayorkas. What are you learning about that and how could that factor into all of this? Kind of factors into what we were just talking about in terms of the hearings that Republicans have said they've conducted. This is the product of, of a months-long investigation that the House Homeland Security Committee has been conducting into the administration's border policy and specifically into Secretary Mayorkas. And, and in a statement announcing that they were really escalating this impeachment probe into Mayorkas and, and, and attempts to impeach him, they said that he, can, he had, quote-unquote, egregious misconduct. Now, the Department of Homeland Security says that this is a waste of taxpayer dollars, but certainly House Republicans telegraphing that they're going to move forward with impeaching the Homeland Security Secretary. All right, ABC's Jay O'Brien in Washington for us. Thanks, Jay. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.